All morning long, we are taking a closer look at toxic chemicals hiding in clothes. In the last hour of the morning show, we told you about forever chemicals found in some school uniforms, but there are also chemicals in everyday clothes. Experts say that one of the most common reactions to those chemicals is a skin rash that appears a few days after exposure and can last for several weeks. Dispersed dyes are really the most common culprits, and they're at their highest levels in brand new unwashed clothes. They are typically used in synthetic clothing materials like polyester and nylon, which are commonly used in workout clothes. Sweating and friction can also cause that dye then to leach out and onto the skin. Now, a more dangerous chemical compound was found in 29 of 31 clothing samples in 2014 in a study. Now, quinoline is also used in dyes and was especially high in polyester items. The EPA classifies it as a possible human carcinogen, meaning it could cause cancers. But the agency based that on studies involving mice and is not studied in humans at this point. Now, there are several other types of stain repellents also, color fasteners and anti-wrinkle chemicals used to treat clothing that are still being investigated. Overall, researchers say that natural fibers like cotton are typically treated with much fewer chemicals. But the reality is clothing manufacturers don't have to disclose any of the chemicals or additives to customers. So the best way to protect yourself is to wash every article of clothing before you wear it.